Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community. I'm Trigger Militia, and today I will be explaining how to get the ultimate parts in Need for Speed Heat and giving you a few tips on how to earn them the fastest. Let's go! Alright, I know this is the part of the video where I'm supposed to say subscribe and like the video, but I honestly hate watching other YouTubers say it, and I don't think it works very well. I would much rather you like the video if you actually like the video and subscribe if this is the type of content you genuinely want to see in the future, but I digress, let's get into it. Ultimate parts are the top tier upgrades that you can get for your car. Unfortunately, you can't simply unlock them by leveling up your rep, although leveling up your rep will help you get them faster. Ultimate parts are unlocked by completing high heat races after you've unlocked all other types of upgrade parts. This should come as no surprise considering the game tells you that right on the part when you're in your garage. So the first thing you should know is that high heat races will actually scale to your car's level. So you won't need to worry about that when it comes to your NPC competition in the race. Where your car level will matter is running from the cops. You will need a fairly fast car to run from heat level 3 and above cops. My suggestion is to spend some time upgrading your car to have all elite parts before you start going after the high heat races and ultimate parts. Once you feel comfortable running from high heat level 3 cops, go ahead and leave the garage at night and start a random race that is at least level 300 or above. This will almost always grant you heat level 3 for simply completing the race. Ideally you won't have the cops on you after the race, but if you do, make sure you lose them before you continue. Alright, now that you have Heat Level 3, locate the Heat Level 3 race on the map and drive to it. Make sure you avoid the cops on your way there. Start the race and make sure you finish in the top 5. If you do, you'll be rewarded with a volatile part. Notice on the minimap there will be a little pink part icon. This means you have it on you and it can be turned in the next time you go to your garage. If you get busted by the cops, you will lose that part and will have to do the high heat race again to get it back. If you manage to get back to your garage safely, you will be rewarded with a random part. If you already have unlocked all of the elite parts with your rep level, you will be rewarded with an ultimate part. To unlock the ultimate plus parts, you will need to complete the high heat level 5 races and finish in the top 5 of those, and then safely get back to the garage. If you complete a Heat 3 and Heat 5 race in one night, you will be rewarded one Ultimate Part and one Ultimate Plus Part. Currently the game doesn't reward you with duplicates, so collecting all of the Ultimate Parts is really really easy and doesn't take up a lot of time, but to do it even faster you want to follow this formula. Leave the garage and find and complete a high level race, at least 350 plus. This should give you Heat 3, then immediately do the Heat 3 race. Most of the time this only gives you half of a heat level unless you get into a long cop chase during that race. Find another high level race at 350 or above, after that race you should have Heat Level 4. At this point, if you are close to Heat Level 5, just run through a speed trap or two and you will be Heat Level 5. But if not, you may want to get into a cop chase. Crashing cop cars is a great way to increase your heat level quickly. Once you have heat level 5, make your way to the heat 5 race and complete it, making sure you finish in the top 5. Get back to the garage safely and you'll get your reward. If you want an easy way to get away from the cops, take them to the Palm City Raceway near your main garage and start driving around the track. For some reason the police have a hard time with the track. You can lose them by driving around in circles and then using the jump that takes you out of the track. When you land, immediately flip around to the left and head to the gas station. Go straight through it, take a slight left towards the pink and purple building, crash through the fence and spam RB and you should be in the garage safely. If you're having trouble losing the helicopter, you can go through the tunnel jumps on the inside of the track before you jump out. Just rinse and repeat the process and soon you will have the fastest version of your current car. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Trigger out.